Yo, YouTube, man. What's up with y'all, boy, man? It's day 62. We got, uh, shoulders. We got shoulders and, um, legs today. Gonna do a light leg day, um, in a couple of days, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, um, squat. We, we starting back, um, doing squat, cause I'm finna get the wraps. So, for, for my knees, for support and shit. And we gonna be... We gonna be, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be back killing the, on the squats though. But um, yeah, man, we got like I said, shoulders and legs today. Um, we got military press, incline dumbbell press, and then we gonna do um the leg curl and the the leg extension. So little slight little date, you know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna put in work though, for real. I appreciate y'all for watching, bro. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta press the bell button. I know how annoying that be when niggas be asking you to press the bell button. You press the bell button, then they drop so much. Like, come on, bro. You pissing me off with all these damn notifications in my phone. I I, I understand. Y'all don't gotta press the bell. You know what I'm saying? But tune in sometimes. You feel me? When you see me post, you feel me? But, um, no, bro. But anyway, bro, let's get to it, bro. We got 225, like we always start off with. And yeah, man, let's get it. <clears throat> All right, baby, we got the leg curl, man. Let's get it, dog. Bro, bro, I hate, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I piss, I pissed myself off so bad, bro. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I got the new Fat Daddy 12s on. You feel me? Well, they 13. These Fat Daddy 13s. You feel me? Um, you feel me? They clean, ain't they? On oh, my mama, I just got these hoes warm. Two days. This how dirty they get. But we be. We, I'm telling you. Anyway, like I said, bro, these 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 were the, the the gray ones I was talking about. Like how dirty they is. Like these were a hundred and twenty five dollars. At the tax, probably a hundred forty. They are obliterated. Literally obliterated. Like I can't fit them no more. They sagging off my ass. Like they green. <sighs> like that's why. That's I understand. I now understand why they say. You can't give black folks, you can't have nice nice things around black people. I understand it now. Because my black ass, bro, I can't believe I fucked these up so bad, bro. Like, they got a hole right here. You can see my meat. Pause, no diddy. You can see my, like, leg meat. <laughs> okay, pause, no diddy, my bad. Anyway, yeah, bro, like, ah, Lee, I need some new, I need some new... I need some new joggers, bro. I don't want to buy no new joggers, then wear them, then get them hoes fucked up. So it's like a cycle, bro. I'm glad I ain't fuck up none of my polo hoodies, bro. Like I've been, I've been trying to, trying to stay away from Paris and shit. Get my shit caught on and shit, and just like, it be hard, bro, for real. But let's do this. Let's do this leg curl real quick, man. And that's partly why I need a girlfriend or a significant other or or really just like my mama or something because my mom know how to she know how to clean right i probably would i'm probably doing my laundry wrong because i used to do whites i used to separate my whites and my colors but i don't got time for all that nowadays bro i don't even got white clothes no more um uh, but that's probably why i need a girlfriend fam like or a woman of the caretaker in nature so I can know how to do things. Like, I don't even know how to take care of myself sometimes. Like, like, like what I mean by that, I know how to take care of myself. I know how to do all that. I'm not stupid. I'm not non-intelligent, okay? But things like getting things out of clothes or, you know what I'm saying, like, like tips and tricks to do like home tips and tricks you know what i'm saying things that i'm not trying to put y'all down it's not sexist but this is like giving y'all comments on y'all being good at knowing how to do tips and tricks that people don't know type shit but some females gonna take that as oh you want a housewife hit uh anyway let's get to it though bro I 
All right, man, we got 315, man. Let's get it, man. Bro, I was reading the Bible earlier on today, and um, I was reading, like, I read the rest of Genesis. I finished Genesis. Well, I, I revised on the ending of Genesis of Joseph's story and the making of the Israelites or Israel. Um, and I was entering into Moses' story, right? Exodus. Um, and, bro, that last story of Genesis, bro, where Joseph got, like, betrayed by his br brothers, it kind of messed with me, bro. Like, it really, it really let me know that, bro, your own family really, it really showed me, to be honest with you, Cain and Abel, the story of Cain and Abel showed me that your own family could turn, could turn their back on you. The quickest, too. Um, and it's kind of sad, bro. And it's like, you would never, like me, I have morals, I have beliefs, and I stand on those morals and beliefs as a beliefs as a man. You know what I'm saying? I don't never see myself ever in any situation going back on those beliefs. But some people, bro, they don't you and, and, and that's why you gotta realize, especially if you're a good person, not everybody is good. You know what I'm saying? You could be bro, you could be the best person alive. They Bro, they still prosecuted Jesus, fam. And he was the most perfect man to walk this earth, this earth, fam. And it's that crazy out here, bro. It's like the devil. This is the devil's playground, to be honest with you. And it's like it's it's pretty sad, man. To to, but that really opened my eyes, and you know what I'm saying. Really, like okay, you really got to be on high alert for things like that in the future. Especially with people who um, who act like they family, or that you think is family, you know what I'm saying? That will that will probably never do anything to hurt you, right? Man, they will hurt you in a second, bro. In a blink of a freaking eye, they make they just waiting on a hot opportunity. And just because you wouldn't do that, don't mean somebody else would would wouldn't either. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind, bro. Some little intelligence, some sprinkle. Sprinkle of advice, man. Sprinkle of advice, bro. And if y'all wanna, bro, if y'all wanna hear about that Joseph story, bro, I'm telling you, that story is probably one of the best stories in the Bible, fam. Like, he was God's favorite child, um, out of J of Jacob's sons. Um, his brothers were so jealous that they wanted to kill him. Um, they ended up um selling him to be a slave. Um. He ended up everywhere he went, rose, rose um, above and conquered every obstacle that was placed in his path. Um, of course, with the help of God. But, man, to have that persistence and that, that much amount of faith said that a lot did happen to him. Like, he did have faith in God. He did follow God to the T. To the, to the and he still ended up getting accused of trying of, a, of adultery which he did not um he ended up getting thrown in prison rose through the ranks in prison ended up getting out and um becoming the leader of egypt and this it's a great ass story bro to, to me that story and the one where i'm trying to find i'm trying to find it in the i'm finna um I want to like read the Bible as I go, but um, the one about the man who, the rich man that lost everything, but kept faith in God and gained it back tenfold, you know what I'm saying? Those are probably the best two, two stories to me because they show that you need persistence, consistency, and not give up faith, bro. Because if you do those things, bro, God, it's, it's nothing you can't conquer, bro. I'm telling you. It's nothing you can't conquer, bro. But in y'all day-to-day, day, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need some little advice. You feel me? Keep on pushing, man. Just keep on pushing, dog. But anyway, let's get to it, bro. <clears throat> All right, best second set of that. Leg curls, man. Let's get it.
So we got 365 on the bar, man. Let's get to it, bro. All right, but we got the 150s. Um, starting off with the 150, we're gonna do this 12 or well, 10 plus time. Let's get it, man. All right, I'm finna do one set of these. I'm like I said, I'm finna do um leg day in a couple days, so that's gonna be my intense leg day. But we're gonna do one set of these right here, and uh, yeah, man, let's get it. All right, best second set of the incline dumbbell bench press. Let's get it. Yo, YouTube, end of the video right there, man. Look, look, good little, quick little head shoulder workout. Head shoulder workout, right? <laughs> anyway, quick little shoulder workout, uh, shoulder slash leg. Like I said, I'm about to do the rest. Like, I'm about to do a head, like a heavy squat day in a couple days. So, stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, bro, I appreciate y'all, bro. For, um, for watching the vid, bro, and uh, yeah, man, stay tuned for more to come, bro. Um, yeah, man, I hope y'all blessed. Hope y'all see that little word I gave y'all a little wisdom. You feel me? Sprinkle a little wisdom. You feel me? <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope y'all blessed, bro. And yeah, man, take care.